which are the best photo spots in Budapest, Hungary that you as a photographer should definitely visit. Besides its history and architecture, Budapest has something unique to offer that you cannot really find anywhere else. Due to its geography, it has fantastic vantage points right in the middle of the city, looking at the Danube and the overarching bridges. This makes Budapest one of the most beautiful cities to photograph at night. Hi, my name is Miklos Mayer and I've been organizing night photography tours in Budapest, Hungary for seven years now. On my photo tours, I take photographers like you to all these spots and I also show the ideal camera settings for images like this. Under the video, you will find a complete list of these spots with exact locations, but for now, let me show you my favorite, the best of the best photo spots of Budapest. Or as we Hungarians pronounce it, Budapest. First on my list is the walls of the Buda Castle. From here you have a fantastic view of the Danube with the Chambridge and the Parliament. Not only wide-angle shots like this work, but I also love to compose the pillar of the bridge together with the Parliament in a tighter composition. Looking towards the Pest side, the ferris wheel and the docking ships provide a beautiful landscape. From here I recommend that you walk towards the funicular and descend to one of these bridges crossing it. From here you can have a fantastic view of the chain bridge with the St. Stephen's Cathedral behind it. Then I recommend that you go all the way down to the bridge and stand in the middle of the road. And you can repeat the exact same from the other side of the chain bridge. This spot is best at night when you can have light rails from the long exposures. A few words on how I set up the camera for night shots like this. To achieve the longest possible exposure, I switch to manual mode, set ISO 100 and stop down the lens to around f11 or f16 and I just set the proper shutter speed. Usually it's around 3 to 10 or maybe even 20 seconds. With this technique, the surface of the Danube smoothens out, you can see the reflections in the water, and also you can get light rails from ships and cars. The next one on the list is the Fisherman's Bastion. So what's a bastion? That's one, that's a bastion, that's a bastion. There are seven of these bastions, and they represent the seven Hungarian tribes that came into this land in the 9th century. As you can see, this spot is really crowded, so I don't recommend that you come here during the day. It's much better to come here at night, or even better, early in the morning around sunrise. Some of my favorite shots from here, if you stand over here, you can have the parliament between those arches. My other favorite spot is if you go up into this tower and you can again have the parliament between those windows. This is my other favorite shot. You can have the opposing bastion under the arches and align with that lantern. Right next to the fisherman's bastions, you find the Matthias Church, one of the oldest churches in Budapest. The original cathedral was finished around 1269 and then in the 1460s Matthias King extended the church and built this beautiful bell tower which even nowadays looks almost the same as its original state. Fun fact, you can go up to the top of the bell tower after climbing 197 steps. Even if you don't go up, the inside of the church is also beautiful. From the outside, I like to photograph it from across the street or from next to the fishermen's bastions. Or if you want to get really artistic, you can play with the reflections in the windows of Hotel Hilton. And next to this beautiful church, you can find the ugliest building in Budapest, the Hotel Hilton. Continuing with churches, 
The biggest cathedral in Budapest is the St. Stephen's Basilica. They started building it in 1851 and only finished it 54 years later in 1905. Partly because the huge dome collapsed and they had to start it all over again. From the square in front of the cathedral you can have really good symmetrical shots, but it's most beautiful going inside. Here I really recommend having a wide angle lens. You can also go up to the dome and walk around it, giving a 360 degree view of the city. However, the view from here is not as good as from the vantage point on the Buddha side. Next one on the list is the Hero Square, which you will find in every tourist book. However, I think this place is boring. It's just a huge square with lots of statues organized in a semicircle. I think as a photographer, standing in the center line is best and having symmetrical compositions. Of course, you can experiment with the statues, but I never found these photos really exciting. It's so much better if you walk two minutes from here to the Wide Hunyat Castle. This is not a real castle, just a replica of a real castle found in Transylvania. It has a moat around it, which usually has water, so I really like to have the main tower's reflection or you can go to the other side of the lake and take photos from there. And I've left one of my most favorite places to the end, the Citadel. The Citadel is a fortress on top of the Galliard Hill. In 2023 it has been closed off due to renovation, but you can still stand on its northern side and from here you have a beautiful view on the Buddha Castle, the Chambridge, and the parliament. With a long lens you can also capture the Ferris wheel and the St. Stephen's Cathedral. This is one of those spots that I take everybody to because I think this is one of the most beautiful vantage points in whole Hungary. If you start walking down the Galliard Hill towards the Liberty Bridge there are many vantage points from where you can take shots like this. One of my favorite is if you stand next to the entrance of the Rock Chapel. From here you can not only have the Liberty Bridge but also the light rails of different tram lines. And if you walk through the Liberty Bridge to the Pesh side you can again stand in the middle of the road and take photos with the trams passing by. The Parliament Building it's one of the largest parliament buildings in the world and you can walk around it or go inside as well. But in my opinion, the real beauty and grandiosity of the parliament building can be seen from right here, from across the Danube, next to the water. The best time for this photo is at night when you can see the parliament's reflection in the Danube. You can go close to the water next to the edge and compose the reflections into the frame, creating shots like this. The best time for this photo is at night, preferably without any ships, so that the surface of the water can be smooth. I have to admit that these moments without the ships, it's very hard to get. So this photo was taken during the COVID lockdown when there was no boat traffic at all. So which one is your favorite spot? Have you been or are you planning to come to Budapest? Do you have any questions? Let me know down in the comments. See you soon and all the best from Hungary in front of the Hungarian Parliament building right next to the Danube River. <laughs>